Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. You've been around the world, yeah, 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 since I saw, <laughs> saw you, right? Yeah, we've been to a lot of places. You sure have. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, we're, we're probably still introducing you for the first time to some of our listeners and viewers, so uh, I should let them know that one of the most talked about aspects of Austria is that you have this background in classical music and, and you studied opera before uh, arriving at this sound. What's it like getting all of this attention in such a different musical genre as, a, as an electro-pop singer now? Um, it's, it's very rewarding, I think. It's really nice. I mean, the classical music world, there was just always about competitions and about like excelling at your instrument and just like trying to reach this level of perfection with what you're, what you're doing. And I find with what we're doing, it's just, it's so much more about like having fun and like connecting with people and connecting with audiences. And it's just, I don't know, I, I really enjoy it. You have no interest in perfection anymore. We try not to. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we get criticized for like looking a little bit too perfect. Like we, it's mostly because we have a backing track, to be honest. Mm. But so we, we try to like keep it keep it loose. Right. We don't want to be too practiced. How do you do that? <laughs> um, Guys, can you intentionally screw up a couple times in this song? It it happens naturally, but when it does, whenever we screw up, we're always like, "That was actually so great! Like that worked so well for <laughs> right. us." Right. Well, that's so. good. That's a good attitude. Yeah, the pressure's off. Um, I hope we screw up this on this gig. You know. Yeah. Um, the the best electronic album category. It's it's brand. It's almost brand new. It's the second year it's being handed out. Is it is it heartening to you to you to see electronic music have its own category at the Junos? Yeah. Is this the first year? Second year. Yeah. Okay, second year. I because I was totally shocked. I didn't realize they had one. Yes. And I think, it's, I think it's great. And I'm very happy that we're nominated. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, part of the, is part of the reason you think it's great that you're nominated? Yeah. <laughs> what does, um, what, what does uh, uh, it seems like a cliche question, but I've got to ask it all night because uh, it, it, this is part of the equation. What does a Juno nomination mean to you? Well, it's really interesting because I feel like a Juno was never really on our radar, ever. Mm -hmm in any way, like, I mean, like you said, I always think of the Junos as being like very well-seasoned Canadian acts. And so when we found out we were nominated, we were kind of just like, really? Like a little bit surprised. But I think it's great. And I, I think, I mean, I'm looking at the list of nominees this year and it seems to be such a diverse list. I feel like so many different genres are represented and it seems to be much more diverse than I remember it in the past, which is, which is great. Well, it, congratulations on the Juno nomination, Thank and you. thanks for playing as part of the Ottawa show. We, you know, we're big fans of what you've done over the last year, and Thank to be you. continued. So, thank you for this.